What's up, y'all? I am on an off day, getting ready to meet up with uh, the one and only Taisha. We have not worked together, y'all, since since January second, and um, I miss her. Not that we haven't seen each other, we just haven't worked together, but still, you know, when you find your work friend and you have a, and then it grows into more than that. about me and I was not in agreement with that 
because you know you can be in agreement with your own negativity and if i was not in agreement with that then i would be like no that's not what i say about myself that's not how i feel about myself that's what you say about you so i would throw it back on them of course a lot of people don't don't like when people do that because a lot of people don't do that you just let people say whatever about you to your face um now of course it was a lot of conversation behind my back but ah whatever it's the to your face for me please and i i prefer you say what you need to say to me to my face um i prefer that because then uh i can address it and go in and shoot correct it but anyways god showed me that so you know i'm praying for everybody that's new i remember what it was like i remember how people act like they're gonna help you but they didn't help you so then i learned what help was i learned who is gonna help the way that i help versus who's gonna just come and sabotage what you got going on because you knew and they raggedy for that they were raggedy for that i'm just saying so i say that to say i'm praying um for everybody that's new in the in the dialysis world or in healthcare in general that you are able to get um, not get that the Lord connects you with a work friend that you are that you find your work friend and um, that y'all are able to grow and develop in the workplace as well as outside of the workplace um, and if you don't just know you have a friend in God it sounds cliche it sounds crazy but if you have you know someone you can lean on <laughs> I will often talk to my um mentor um and even my pastor at times just i would talk to them at times about the things that was going on and they would just encourage me and you know i'm young and so one of the encouragements was like learn the lesson while you're here because hold on y'all look where this go learn the lesson because you don't want to repeat this same lesson when you go somewhere else pass the test ebony pass the test so whoever you are pass the test that is what um she would always tell me because i came from um dialysis to me was my first real job and i say real job because you know not to negate all the other, other people that have other jobs oh that's my turn um but i say real job because it was benefits that i had never had i never had uh you know health care vision dental benefits before working in dialysis so it was my first real job and so because <laughs> because it was my first job real job i say because before that i worked in a restaurant i've worked in catering um so i mean i love food so i can hook i can hook some stuff up but anyways i worked in a restaurant i worked in catering i worked at a daycare i've worked in these different places um and i worked in healthcare a teeny bit like but it wasn't um and i was a caregiver but it's just different when you work in dialysis okay it's different if you know you know what is these arrows doing so because of that i had to pass the test and of course being young or um, young and spoiled okay my my mother shout out to moms i love her she um is an rn but she did not want me to work in high school now some people they work in high school my mom didn't want me to work in high school so which i should have just i thought it but i didn't so she didn't want me to work in high school not now my parents are together okay they've been together for 31 years but um my mom didn't want me to work in high school and my dad um you know kind of just went with whatever which i don't know if they really talked about this when i was a kid anyways uh, that could be a long story anyway she didn't want me to work in high school so i didn't have a job until i got out of high school oh boy you need jobs while you're in high school okay um to all the younger younger because i've seen some people in dialysis as young as like 20 but you need jobs and it's their first real job they said it out of their mouth and i understand um so 
yeah, I didn't have that. So, I mean, as far as a certain discipline or uh, authority, how you listen to authority, how you apply what authority has told you. And when I say authority, I mean a manager or whatever the case may be. I mean, I like to be independent and free, which in turn is just rebellion. And rebellion comes from rejection because re and rejection comes from you not feeling like you're understood and all that, blah, blah, blah. Childhood, boom. Uh, which most of us deal with it, but you can be healed where you can overcome it and not allow it to stop you from keeping a job or even um the way that you hear what you know a manager may say to you like and some people they really do care for you and but you you can't hear that when you just stuck on doing what you want to do so i say all that to say um dialysis was my first real job and when i first started it was hard um especially if i disagree with stuff but it's like well honey i did not start this company i did not start this so <laughs> I need to do what these people say and I just need to <laughs> and I did um it took some time I'm not gonna lie to you to the point of where I am now and yay friend is you I think of where I what I am where I am now to where I will listen and I intentionally I'm not afraid of management either that's the other thing because a lot of people be in yeah, I'm like no nah, I'm not afraid of management I will go talk to them um first actually like first day I'm trying to see who it is who who the boss I want to talk to them I want to see them I want to say hey um I want to introduce myself just by you know I just say hey and then you know I love telling people I, I like this about you or I like your hair I like it whatever so you know some people I think regularly incorporate they don't um they're afraid of management or just have no respect for management of course and will challenge management until uh oh, hold on y'all Y'all, uh, we would have put y'all in on it, but we just enjoyed each other, okay? We did. Yes, it's been a while. More of the story. Get you a work friend, okay? Okay. <laughs>